In de tweede aflevering van Female Virals spreek ik met Dodie, oftewel Dot Loddle, op YouTube. Ze heeft meer dan 1,8 miljoen abonnees en ook zij is gestart door covers te plaatsen op haar eigen kanaal. Inmiddels heeft ze twee eigen EP's. Haar derde plaat, Human, is laatst uitgebracht. De muziekvideo's doet ze met vrienden. Schrijven doet ze helemaal zelf. Opnemen ook. En ze staat bekend om haar gevoelige teksten, audioklapjes en harmonieën. Why am I making a video about this? Ze heeft een hele melkwegzaal uitverkocht in een half uur en ik spreek haar daar voor de soundcheck. Hey, Wee. Okay. Hi Dodie. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm really um, satisfied that I again have a sofa mm. where we can just go. Just chilling out. Look at this. Legs up. Who really? cares? Why did you start YouTube? I suppose that's a question you get a lot. Mm, um, I was a fan of it. I was a fan of the YouTubers that I watched. Um, and I wanted to join in, but I didn't really know what else I could post. At first I posted just me like messing about with my friends. I was yeah. like, why am I not famous yet? <laughs> and then I was like, all I right. I have 10 views, that's <laughs> so much. <laughs> and I was like, God. Um, so then I gave up on that and I started, firstly I joined in with a collab channel, like me and some internet friends kind yeah. of posted every week and that kind of taught me how to make videos. Was that when everyone did like a day? I remember yes. that was like a trend where yes. I was like, I'm a Monday, yes. I'm a Tuesday. I was a Sunday. Um, and then I, because uh, I wrote songs for school and just for myself, I was like, I'll put that online and see how it does. Um, so yeah, I just started posting my songs and also doing covers as well um, since 2011, yeah. Hello, my name's Dodie Clark. Um, I'm called Doddloddle on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be singing a song that I composed to myself called Rain. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm so angry, I'm finding it hard to breathe, to control myself. I just wanna scream out loud. Did you say you wrote songs for school? Mm -hmm. Did you go to like one of those music schools or was just like for fun? Just secondary school, like my music class. I did music GCSE and you had to write like, I think I wrote the first one I posted in year 10, which is like when I was like 14 or 15. Um, and yeah, you had to like write with a verse, a bridge and a chorus. I was like, and then they, they'd say use different chords in the chorus. So I guess I kind of learned how to write from those classes. Just like, like the structure Just of music, song. yeah. yeah. Um, but I actually paid attention because I really liked it. Whereas music for a lot of other kids in school was just like one of those lessons where you, yeah, it doesn't matter. You just be like. I'd rather do maths. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, no, but Can't like, write. I don't know, like. I don't know, it was one of those ones where the teacher didn't really care and then you didn't really care and you just kind of like bum it off and go in a practice room and just and play we're sold out. for at least a million times. I know, I mean, it's so Amsterdam. weird. Yeah. Was there a time where a big label came to you from YouTube and went, if you sign with us, that's it? And yes. why didn't you do that? Um, mostly because I was scared. Th that's happened in like a number of ways, whether it's like, I mean, at the beginning stages, it was like networks, um, like channel, multi-channel networks YouTube. for YouTube. Yeah. Um, but it was mostly the fear of losing control because I didn't want that. I was terrified that someone else would tell me what to do. Um, so yeah, up until now, I haven't really said yes to many things. Only kind of things that I like test the waters with and like um, I trust. Because well, you share loads of yourself online to like, which is good because the one thing you used to talk about most is mental health which I applaud you greatly for that, because that takes loads of bravery to talk about that. Sometimes kind of depression or anxiety can be all consuming. Mm. And so part of someone's personality and in a weird way for you, a brand yeah. in a twisted way. Do you feel like once hopefully that's over, because that's a healthy thing if it's over, is that kind of a prospect where you go, oh my God, I don't know who or what I am then or the reaction of fans going, mm. What's this smiley dodie doing? It's very weird. It's so fucked up. <laughs> it's really fucked up, especially when you're in the bad, bad place and you're scrolling through your tagged photos and someone's made this like, I mean, it's probably someone young, it's not their fault, but like this cool like wind, like edit of like a post that I made of me like taking a picture of myself crying and writing this huge thing that like helped me through the night. And it's like, we love Dodie, we love her and her depression. And I'm like, that's really weird. That's so Please weird. Please don't love my depression. Right? Like, there's diary entries of me being like, I'm done, I don't like it. And like, yeah, for a while I was like, who am I if I'm not depressed? Because I got better for a while. I mean, like, I'm, I'm like 
definitely better than I was then. Yeah. There are still rough days, but like I'm in a better headspace. And so, and also I learned to kind of like take a break from sharing so much of it online. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it was confusing for a while, but that's never been my fucking brand. My brand has just been my brand to talk about whatever I'm thinking about or to look after myself, to just be me and like be comfortable. So if I am okay at the moment, then I'll talk about being okay. It's just life. That's my brand. Hashtag human. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also completely the name of the yeah. album. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> She tastes like apple juice and peach. You would find her in a Polaroid picture. And she means everything to me. Oh. Is it weird to have like an archive of the songs and now for it to be on an album? Yeah, um, I really like it because everyone can kind of see the growth. It can get tricky because obviously people can get attached to the original version, mm. but I definitely don't mind that because I have a habit of doing that as well. And I, I see them as like separate things, really. Like you can wholly love the first version of something. You can love it if it gets like amplified or not. I like that you can see that and see how you don't just like burst into, I don't know, whatever this is, wherever I am right now. You yeah. have to like work at it and like grow and change and write some really bad songs and write some okay songs and write some better songs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's this thing that you do m massively well where you do harmonies in minor for Christmas songs. Silent night, holy night. Oh, yeah. And it's like a running theme to all of your music where you have like loads and loads of harmonies. Mm -hmm. Was that just a thing that you like to do and that translates into your music? Yes. I think, again, it's like not even trying to do what I can't do. Like, for example, in choirs. Um, there'd be like the main part and there would be all these flashy singers that would be like, ah! and I'd be like, I can't do that. So Bye. <laughs> exactly. I just stay behind and I'll stay quiet, but I will do the best damn harmony as I can do and like do my flair and get my attention in that way because I can't sing very well, um, like loud. Yes, you can. I can Please sing, use nice um, sorry. language. <laughs> I can sing very well for myself. Yes. Um, but like, yeah, my harmonies, my harmonies are banging. Okay. So. There you go, that's great. Mm -hmm. So is there music that you still want to write where you're like, I'm just gonna put this in a box and not put it out because I'm scared? Do you want to explore more genres? Mm. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, like, the main thing I ever say is that I, I would love to write a musical. And I know that will come one like day. Like a musical musical? Yeah, like yeah. a big old A musical. big old musical. Big old musical. <laughs> but I don't think I'm ready yet. Um, I think I need to kind of see where my own project goes and then yeah, maybe like... Winner Tony. <laughs> Winner Tony! <laughs> That's my love girl! Yeah, so... I don't think the drummer is playing, because we yeah, have like I can, a... Sorry, enjoy that. Like a stampede, <laughs> like a musical stampede. I didn't even notice it, it's just like <laughs> second age of doing it. Right, so I'm on this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> is, was there a goal for yourself where you go, oh, I'm an artist if I do this? Or like, I made it if I did that? Um... I don't really know. I think I... Is it like a Grammy or like a oh, I mean, or like a, a I love third that. album? Or... I guess I'm not, I'm never really setting goals for myself because I can't stand the idea of being disappointed. Like whenever... <laughs> Very healthy perspective of saying goals. Whenever there's like a sync opportunity that comes up, which is like getting my music in a film or like writing for an advert or something like that. Yeah. I never, like I do it and I do it the best I can, but I'm always just like, I have not got it. I have not got it and that's fine. That is absolutely fine because if I go, please, 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 and then it doesn't happen, I'll be broken. So I'm yeah. always just like, nope, didn't no, happen. I never am exactly will. the same. It's now downstairs stop, but we have your I violinist. Your Welcome violinist. to touring. There is no room <laughs> or space. Noise. Correct. Always noise. Yeah. People will come in, they'll just brush your teeth on you, then leave. That's touring. That's nice. Yeah, he's great. And talking about transparency and having your video content online and now having the Fivo Discovers and the big shows. You posted, and I love this, your, your practice session of Monster, <laughs> yes. filmed by a friend of yours, <laughs> Daniel J. Layton. Yes. Guys, are you ready for this shit? Nobody likes Millhouse! Ladies and gentlemen, quiet for the drop. Just a couple of months. So maybe I want to talk to you. Cut! 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 The only way I know how to. Uh, 
um, I think it's really healthy for, for kids to see that um, the same person that does such big sessions is the person that goes to their own kitchen. Mm. I think it's important to see that. that. Yeah. I've always wanted to see that. And like, I don't know, like, I'd love to see Dua Lipa just, like, being like, OK, where shall I put my hands on I thing? You know, I don't know, because it looks like it's so effortless. And, like, I don't know, I think it's interesting to show people that I didn't just magically grow this overnight. And, I mean, to be fair, I don't think it's very, like, surprising for me, <laughs> you know, for someone to be like... People are like, used to this going out. Yeah, today. exactly. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, of course she's dancing around the living room. Everyone's like, yeah, we know you can't dance. But, yeah. Be nicer to yourself. Okay, I know. Be nicer to yourself, please. <laughs> I dance in my own way. Like, uh, I think I described it as, like, happy child dancing. So it's a little the shuffle. Day. Yeah, just yeah. like... <laughs> if I had hair... <laughs> I would do a whip now, but I can't. I'll do it extra for you. Yeah. Ah, um, is there something that you want to say in interviews because you want it to be in the world, but you never get asked? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, oh, that's such a good question. There, there'll definitely be something that I think of afterwards. Yeah, because there's sometimes things that you can't say. I mean, this was, yeah. yeah, this was very refreshing. I like talking about my own music. Like, if someone's listened to it and they're like, what does this one line mean? I'll be like, let me tell you, because a lot went into it. It's funny you say that, because there's one song, Burnout, yes. where you say, um, I can talk about it, being mm -hmm. fans. I'll never talk about it. I'll never talk about it. No, I cannot talk about it. Toxic in the sweetest way, mm -hmm. in the most nice, kind way. How, how do you deal with that side of being an artist when luckily you have that much attention all the time? Mm. Well, I mean, it's hard. I can't talk about it because you're right. It's like, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because what, like, I mean, I've been there. Like, you, you want to kind of like outpour all of your feelings and all of your problems onto this artist that has helped you so much because you want to thank them. Yeah. But that artist can't take on all of it. It's just a really weird topic to talk about. It's a really weird one to play as well because I'm like, I feel bad for playing this. I'm singing about you. Yeah, I know. I'm really actually singing about <laughs> I know. you. I am sorry. Sometimes there's <laughs> too much pressure and it hurts me. I'm sorry. But I still love you. It's funny because you're not eating. Right? It's yeah. like, it's so confusing. It's just so weird. It's such a weird song that I wrote. Sometimes it's just a lot. Not sometimes. It is a lot all the time. You just, like I said, have to just... That's like artist Odie. Yeah, exactly. You just have to stay with your friends and the people who love you and know you. Stay humble. Stay humble. Hashtag stay grounded. Humble. I never understood what that meant. Whenever, like in like magazines that I used to read when I was young, people used to be like, how do you stay so grounded? And I was like, what does that mean? Grounded. What does that mean? <laughs> and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> Were there times where you let yourself go, I'm the shit? I feel like that's healthy, um, where you just go, you know what, I am Dodie. Like, now and again, sometimes, I forget, I really do forget, because I'm so okay. wrapped up in my own head of, like, how badly I'm doing, or, like, you know, just my bad brain, and then sometimes I'm like, okay, Dodie, I'm on a bus that is my bus, like, I hired all these people, yes. all these people coming to listen to my music, yes. and, like, there's that voice in my head that's like, you just tricked them all, like, you somehow no. just, like, I don't know. I am the shit. I know, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, shut up, voice, I'm the shit, I'm yeah, the shit. Yeah, you are the shit. It's just hard, I'm really. I don't know, I can say it like now and again, but it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really work. <laughs> I don't know. I'll maybe practice you, it more. Maybe if you say it like, I am the shit, I am, I am the shit, shit. Yeah. I am the shit, I am the shit. This is my show, you are my crowd, <laughs> this is my stage, welcome. I know, I just, I don't know, I can't own it. You'll see it when I perform tonight, I just turn into a mess. I'm like, thank you, um, this uh, next song is about me, uh, not feeling good enough. Um, anyway, okay, bye. Oh, it's just it's such a mess. Because that's what I really am about Sigrid because she just like oh she's awesome she's business yeah she's business she just goes this is my you are 
you are yeah she's like everyone's gonna listen to me and i'm gonna you're move. welcome yeah it's like exactly. thing. You're, like, you're welcome oh, i love her she's so cool i think we should release you because i think elliot is like having a panic attack oh yeah I he's like a bit <laughs> yeah i think i have to go sound check daddy <laughs> have fun with your sound check have fun with the show you. thanks Be the best of the dodies i will try <laughs> in my head i'm the shit you I'm are the shit. shit i'm the shit i'm gonna say that out loud I'm yeah like, just like huh i did this <laughs> you're welcome i can't <laughs> There's just something in me that's like, never, ever. Do it! Do it. Just imagine me going, do it! <laughs>